What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Nery Seiji. I hope you guys are doing great or doing well when I'm here back with another video. And the second official trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has been released. And if you've watched it, you can see that there are so many Spider-Man environments, so many Spider-People, and I'm here to talk about, well, most of them. Who they are and where they are plucked from, from the comics to the animated TV shows. And we are looking at the first trailer and this one and the poster as well. So let's just dive into it. And oh, if I'm speaking in a weird way, that makes it seem like I'm not sure or I'm speaking in the past or some sort of way it means i recorded this audio before the second trailer dropped while feeling certain spots with the current me you know recording this audio like the future me anyway let's just dive into it let's start from the top we have spider-man 2099 we've already seen this spider-man real name miguel o'hara who's going to be voiced by oscar isaac in the comics he's a scientist and will end up with his dna being 50 percent of a spider and become 2099 spider-man with the help of his ai program layla helping him out with his hero job so since he's from the future, his suit is more, you know, techy. Futuristic is the right word. It's kind of like Tom Holland's Spidey suit from Tony Stark, but more. Now, apart from his iconic red and deep blue suit, he's also going to be wearing a purple and yellow suit as well. Now, next, we have Peter B. Parker. He's making a return and is now a dad. As we saw him reunited with MJ in the last movie, his daughter in the comics is called Mayday Parker and she grows up to become Spider Girl after inheriting Peter's power. And there's even a concept art of her that was shown. So, future nerdy AG, as you can tell, I recorded this audio before the second trailer. And Mayday Parker has been officially shown in the second trailer and she looks absolutely adorable. We now have Spider Woman, real name Jessica Drew, a badass who shows the that yeah even if she's heavily pregnant she can still f you up she's going to be voiced by isa ray but it seems like she's a variant of this character because the original jessica drew apart from her sharing a spider woman name and half of her powers she doesn't have any other thing in common with him like she wasn't bitten by a radioactive spider nor does she swing on a web like one of her power sets is that she can fly but this version of her we can clearly see that she shoots webs from her fingertips and rides a motorcycle and appears to be fighting a variant of Vulture who is brown instead of green and is going to be voiced by Joma Takoon. Now Spider-Woman is going to be one of the spiders who will side with Miles and Gwen in the civil war between the spider people. We then have Spider-Punk is going to be voiced by Daniel Kaluja. In the comics, Hobie Brown who is a British and into punk rock culture, a homeless teenager who gets his powers by being infected by radioactive waste illegally dumped by Norman Osborn. Spider-Man India is also going to be in the movie. Producers Chris Miller and Phil Lord have also confirmed. Hey, I'm future nerdy CGA once again and Spider-Man India was also shown in the second trailer. Spider-Man is also going to be in the movie. Producers have also confirmed that they have made designs for the character. So maybe we will see him. Like, if you don't know the character, he was in the 1978 Japanese Spider-Man series. He doesn't have any powers. He just uses his tech and machines that he has and techniques, of course, to, you know, be and act like Spider-Man. Now let's get to the meat of it all. Some of these spider people are going to be hard to pinpoint. Others are going to be original creations. So we are not going to know, know who they are till the movie comes out. So let's just start from upside down. No, let me flip it. We have someone who looks to be in a classic Spider-Man suit. Maybe the original Spider-Man, but it also looks like Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. You know, his suit from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 specifically with the big eyes. The one next to him looks like a woman. Seems like the Velocity suit from the PlayStation game. But with a white spider-man logo converging downwards it looks like the symbiote spider-man suit but i think it's the one i mentioned before because you know this one has purple in it Zooming out from the right, we have Marvel Spider-Man from the Insomniac's 2018 Spider-Man game, his advanced suit. The one next to him looks like Dia Miles Morales in the game as well, but the color seems a, a little bit off. Continuing from there, this looks like the anti-kingpin suit that Spider-Man wore in the 2020's Amazing Spider-Man issue 62 comics. Next is the Spider-Man Ammo Mark II, a bulletproof suit from the 2011's Amazing Spider-Man issue 656, which Spider-Man wore to protect himself from bullets when his spider sense was failing him. Now here we have a woman in the future foundation suit worn in Fantastic Four issue 1 2011 comics FF for short when Spider-Man joined their team. 
Now, zooming further out, we now have Mary Jane Watson from a universe where Peter Parker designed a suit that will mimic his abilities for her. She went by his superhero name Spinnerette. Next, where is her daughter Annie Parker, who went by the superhero name Spiderling, who inherited Peter Parker's powers, you know, with her father. And then they were both introduced in the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Virus comics in 2015. We now have Spider Cop from the issue 4 of Spider Gideon. The 2018 PlayStation game, Spider-Man always joked about that, being a spider cop as a joke but funny enough it made its way into the comics and now here we are when spider cops on the job come hell or high water the job gets nope 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 we have here the manga verse Spider-Man from the manga universe. Now this looks like the Iron Spider-Man suit, the original one from the Civil War comics. This Spider-Man pops up later in the trailer, much more clearer. Next year we have Lady Spider, who is a young Aunt May in an alternate universe in the 19th century, who built her own mechanical enhanced suit. This suit here looks like the one Peter Parker wore in the Fear Itself comics issue 7 in 2011, when it was powered by Asgardian magic. Now this year kind of looks like Spider Side in the comic. Amazing Spider-Man issue 399 in 1995, a genetically modified clone of Peter Parker who was designed to kill him. And this year looks like Ultimate Spider-Woman's costume, at least a variation of it. We now zoom out further and from the left we have a look at another future foundation Spider-Man suit, but this Spidey is a man. Then we have the negative Spider-Man suit from the Insomnia game. We have here the bombastic Bagman, who in the comics after Peter's costume was damaged, he borrowed the suit from the Fantastic Four and put a brown bag to hide the secret identity, but it looks like there's a slight variation of it to his suit, you know, since Sony doesn't own the rights to Fantastic Four. And here I think that's supposed to be Spider-Man UK. Then here we have Werewolf Spider-Man or Spider-Wolf. Yeah, in an alternate universe, there's Spider-Man who is a wolf. And at the far left here this costume looks like the cosmic spider-man suit where peter parker bonded with the cosmic power enigma force to become captain universe in the amazing spider-man 328 comics in 1990 and made other appearances in the spider-verse events comics recently in the spider gedon and this spider-man has to be flash thompson spider-man who in another universe gains the powers of spider-man instead of peter parker but he didn't have the sportsman leatherman jacket but since flash thompson is known for wearing that i guess they put it on him. And now, as we see different spider people chasing Miles, we see Superior Spider-Man, who in another universe, Dr. Octopus takes over the mind of Peter Parker, taking over his body and living his life, and he dons this costume as Spider-Man. And right here, this looks to be Anya Corazon's Spider-Girl, a Mexican-Puerto Rican teen living in New York who gets the powers when a group called the Spider Society performed the ritual on her by giving her a magical spider tattoo. Then we see a six-armed Spider-Man tackling Miles, this could be the Spider-Man who in an alternate universe drinks a potion to enhance his abilities but instead it gives him four more arms making him look like a spider of some sort. Further on the left, this looks like Mayday Parker's spider girl. We've already seen a child version of her, you know, Peter B. Parker's kid. This could be an alternate future version of her or another universe version of her. Now here we have Spider-Man wearing the Silver Mark 1 suit in the comics Web of Spider-Man issue 100 and was also in the 90s TV show. Now right here we have the Electroproof Mark 3 Spidey suit. It also looks like the Spider-Man Zero suit from the Fortnite game, but I think it's more of the Mark 3 suit. And right here, this looks like the costume that Tom Holland Spider-Man wore in Far From Home. There are some rumors and sources that he's going to be in the movie alongside Tobey Maguire and the rest. I don't know whether it's going to be true or not, but wait and see. We now move to another shot. And here, this design looks like that of Kane's Scarlet Spider-Man suit. And this year, this dad bought Spider-Man looks like FX Spider-Man, an older semi-retired Peter Parker from an alternate universe in the future. And right here, this Spider-Man's costume and design looks like that of the classic villain Shock. And this year looks like the classic version of Jessica Drew's Spider Woman. And at the left corner here, we have Spider Monkey, who's from an alternate universe, an alternate Earth where the dominant species are monkeys and apes, like in you know, Planet of the Apes style. Then here we have the PlayStation 1 Spider Man, <laughs> you can't believe he's here. Then moving on, we have the Poison Spider Man, you know, the alien symbiote poison like Venom. As you can see in the background, there are probably hundreds of spider people chasing after Miles. What did he do? Or what is he trying to do that they're trying to stop him? As the spider people keep chasing him, we have another shot where I can't believe it. Spider-Man Unlimited from the 90s show. We then have Webman from the Spidey Super Stories issue 25. An evil inverse clone Spider-Man, you know, he has his suit colors in reverse. 
and here it looks like we have ben riley scarlet spider-man um future nerdy sage here yet again and in the second trailer they have shown ben riley spider-man in all his glory we then see other spider people that we've already mentioned before like manga spider versus spider-man who we can now clearly see i think i saw silk somewhere but i can't see it after i first saw it like it's driving me crazy if i see it i'll point it out now in the second trailer they referenced tom holland spider-man and dr strange spider-man no way home in general on how you know they effed up the multiverse you can never be part of this don't even get me started on dr strange and the little nerd back on earth 1999.99 now, Sony has been heavily teasing Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man in the movie. And this trailer highlights and references all of them. At the beginning of the trailer, we see shots of footages that are taken from the three Spider-Man movies that these three actors have starred in. And we first hear a voiceover from Tobey Maguire, which is taken from Spider-Man 2 when he was talking to Dr. Octavius about how sometimes doing what's right requires you to give up what you want the most. Sometimes to do what's right we have to give up the thing we want the most sometimes to do what's right we have to be steady and give up the thing we want the most and the next voice is of andrew garfield who talks about how he makes enemies every time he puts on the costume and is the friendly neighborhood spider-man every day i wake up knowing that the more people i try to save the more enemies i will make every day i wake up knowing that the more people i try to save the more enemies i will make and then finally is tom holland spider-man his words taken from spider-man homecoming talking about how it is his time to prove himself this is my chance to prove myself please this is my chance to prove myself so from this it looks like we're going to get all three spider-man in the movie or at least a tease of them maybe at the end of the movie for the third one beyond the spider-verse now let's continue spotting these spider people now this strong looking spider is called spider bite from earth 22191 who first appeared in 2018's comic vault of spiders and here in this last shot we see <laughs> spider-man who is a therapist and in between this bulk of spiders there's a horse yeah spider horse now let's pause from the trailer and take a look at the, this poster that has so many variants that i've not talked about behind jessica drew's spider woman there is another spider woman julia carpenter who is sometimes also known as madame webb on her immediate left we have cowboy spider-man who is from the ultimate spider-man cartoon series on disney xd Upwards from that, we see Spider Cat, our fairy spider creature from Earth 999. Now, in the far bottom right of the poster, we see Spectacular Spider Man from the 2008 to 9 Spectacular Spider Man animated series. The Spider Man behind Spider Punk and at the immediate left of Cyborg Spider Man, wearing a backward baseball cap, is Sun Spider, her real name being Charlotte Weber. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a fairly recent creation into the Spider People and first appeared in the 2019 Spider Verse comics. And behind Ben Riley is Spider Carnage. I mean, you can tell from the look. But it also looks like it could be a vampire Spider Man. But from what it looks like, it seems like it's a blend between Spider Man and the symbiote Carnage. And the medieval looking Spider Man at the left side is called Spider Knight, who first popped up in 2015's Ultimate Spider Man series. This Peter Parker, this Spider Man, is from the era of Arthur and Merlin, and in fact, Merlin was his mentor. There's another one who's dressed like a samurai with the mask and everything. Next is someone, you know, <laughs> I want to say Mariachi Spider Man, but <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but I know from his attire, he's inspired by Mexican culture. And there's a Spider-Man here who literally looks like Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings. And man, there are so many spider people. Some of them from the comics, the animated shows that we've watched. And others new ones that are just made just for the movie. So do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this trailer. I think this movie is going to be one of the best Spider-Man movies out there. If not the best. Like, <laughs> it's so amazing. The animation, the voice acting that we've just heard. Even as little as we have right now. And uh, yeah the action is also going to be crazy and the music as well anyway if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and uh, subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any new video as always nerdy sage here see you guys in the next one